Not at the moment, but I would just point out the whole country is lonely stocks. When you think about uh, the $26 trillion in retirement assets that are invested in, in uh, the markets right now, like everybody's in. Every, every pension fund, every insurance uh, uh, product that's got a, a market link to it, every 401k, every dollar that's in index funds. It's like to, to be long Apple, be long Amazon, that is at this point to be an American investor. You almost can't avoid it. So then the question is like, well, which of these names do you want to be overweight? Because you're already in pretty much no matter who you are, unless you're sitting in cash or gold uh, for the last 10 years. So you say to yourself, OK, I already have X amount of exposure in my overall portfolio, including retirement assets, brokerage assets, etc. Is Apple a, a good enough company that I want even more than the, what the market's already giving me based on cap weighted indexes and active funds that track those uh, cap weighted indexes and compete with them? So I've concluded, yes, it's been the right call. Uh, Apple's up like 500 percent over the last few years. I don't expect that rate of return to continue, but I do want to be long just because of how dominant they are. And go down the list. It's hard not to say the same thing about Alphabet. It's hard not to say the same thing about Amazon. And until something materially changes where that's not the case, yes, that's mm. where I want to be. And, you know, I don't need to have above market yeah. returns in those names to justify being overweight them because I'm not reporting my alpha to anybody. It's just what yeah. I personally yeah, Liz, want to be long. You know, Liz, I would say we talked about risks at the top of the show and we don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think we could say there's zero regulatory risk in these names. We know the Biden administration has talked about it. Some of the FTC commissioners in their previous lives, the private sector have talked about maybe monopoly power or breakups. There is a regulatory risk. It's pretty much all the names that Josh mentioned. We've talked about the app store issues. How big is Amazon going to be? Does Google control too much of the online ad market? Sure. I, I mean, there's definitely regulatory risks there. I mean, obviously not nearly as much regulatory risk as what we're seeing in China tech right now. But still, as long term holdings, I think these names are they're going to have huge opportunity going forward. If we're talking about the short term, it comes back to that. Do we buy tech? Do we buy financials right now? In the short term, I would still lean towards financials. But over the long term, I mean, tech is the prosperity of the American economy. And these names are at the crux of that prosperity. So regulation or not, people are still going to have demand for the names. They're going to have demand for them not only as stocks, mm. but as product providers. Pete, you got a view on tech? Yeah, love it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think most of these names, whether it's Microsoft or we go over to, to, to Josh's side with the technology side and we go to the semis and we go to something like an NVIDIA, Facebook, go across the board, Brian. What I've been doing over the last couple of years has been when I feel like there is an opportunity for a little bit more momentum, a move to the upside, I not only have the stock, but then I'll just double up by having calls in there as well to the upside, looking for these shorter term moves as well. So, you know, I'm doubled up in many of these various names, Facebook and Apple right now. It was Microsoft just last week looking for these kind of moves where we see this breakout to the upside. I think that right now the technology space just has an incredible room still to the upside. And I mean in all of these names, whether it's Apple or Facebook or go over to Microsoft, wherever you want to look, I think that there are many, many names out there that actually they might look like their P.E. is high, but you also have yeah. to understand what is this company now versus what they were two years ago or three years ago? Different companies and they've got different revenue streams. That's why I think some of these P.E.s are a little they're not as stretched yep. as people think. 